All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to break down my brand new single called Send Me Away. I'm going to go through how I made the beat, how I arranged the vocals, how I processed everything. And yeah, so without further ado, let's get straight into FL Studio. All right, so we're going to go through the beat first. This is the FLP that I use to bring the vocal in and mix it with the beat. But I'm just going to use this FLP to show you how I made the beat and mixed everything. And then we'll go to the vocals after that and explain it in a bit more depth. But first off to start, first off, I've got this loop by Cymatics. It's the loop one in Cymatics' 808 mob melodies. It sounds like this. And all I did for this section was pitch it up an octave. And then for this section, I put gross beat halftime on. Then for this section, I put a half beat gate from gross beat on the halftime version. And that's it for the melody. Super simple stuff. You've definitely seen this a lot. I just grabbed a loop, throw a couple gross beats on there, and that's what you've got. We'll move straight on to the drums now. I use this sub bass from, from Tri Freezes Atlanta Culture 2 drum kit. It's free drum kit. Go cop it. Sounds like this. And I do have it routed to a mixer track, where it's just the default preset, and I've turned the drive up to about three. And it's just playing this pattern on C, as we're in C minor. And I forgot to mention that we're also at 127 BPM. So with the melody, this is what the sub bass sounds like. I put a note on every bar because I like the slight, very slight attack that this one shot has. So that's why I did that instead of having it stretch out the entire length of the eight bars. And for the other sounds for the intro, we've got a clap. It's the puncture clap from the same drum kit. And when this comes into the arrangement, it's just playing this simple clap pattern. And I've also got this crash from the same drum kit. It just hits on the one of the beat. I've also got the ad libs in the beginning here. I'll get into the processing later in the video when we go into the vocal processing. But apart from the tag, and this riser, which comes from the same drum kit yet again. This is what the intro sounds like. And then as we drop into the hook, of course, we have the 808. This, of course, is hitting predominantly on C. However, at the end of the bar, it does come up to the second and the third with an octave jump in the second half. And then right at the end, we've got this same sort of movement from the third to the second to the first or the root up an octave, up two octaves, actually. So it sounds like this. And you can see here that I've got the velocities turning down a little bit because these are a higher octave and I've also got them panned left and right. Now we've added three other sounds on top of this. We've got the hi-hat. This is the best hi-hat, same drum kit. It's playing this simple pattern. Very simple, but has a nice bounce. We've then got this rim. Same drum kit. All the drum sounds that are used in this are from the same drum kit. I probably should have mentioned that in the beginning, so I didn't have to keep repeating it. But it's just playing this very common accent snare pattern. And then we've got this open hat. And it's playing this pattern. And so for the second half of the hook, we've got the kick come in. This just follows the same pattern as the 808, but it doesn't hit on all of the high notes because often the kick doesn't mesh well with high-pitched 808s. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is what the hook sounds like. And then lastly, like I do with a lot of my remixes, I've automated the stereo separation on the master. I think this has a massive impact on the dynamics of the song, making it seem really big and wide and the hook have a, have a very large dramatic effect. Basically how I do it is I make it more mono in the intro and the verses and just before drops in the hook. 
And then I bring it back to 50-50 for the chorus, obviously. And I like to turn it to 100% mono in the beat cuts, just to give it much more impact when the, dr when the drums come back in. And then for the reverb tail, right at the very end of the song, I just made the stereo separation 100%. But yeah, that's it. That's the arrangements of the instrumental and stuff like that. Yeah, let's get into edit the vocal. This is a project with all my audio recording. You can see my mic is hooked up. All I did is I dragged the MP3 for the beat in and I started recording. So for, I want to say 80% of the vocals you hear on the track, I run through this mixer track here. Obviously, first up, we've got auto tune. It's in C minor to make sure we're in the right key. This is basically just to make sure our vocals aren't out of tune. Everyone knows what auto tune does. Reach in speed was at 18. Flex tune was at 12. Humanize was at 11. I've gone through this in some detail in my, in my previous couple of videos on how to record vocals and how to mix vocals, but we'll just go through it again for the sake of this video. We've got a, a band pass EQ cutting out a lot of the low frequencies and the high frequencies as well. And then we've got this EQ, really brightening up the high frequencies, giving it clarity. I've got a lot of fresh air, 39 mid air and 56 high air. This gives a lot of crispiness and clarity to the vocal. Next, I've got this SSQ equalizer. I use this to boost some of the lower frequencies and give the vocal some body. And then finally, I've got a limiter for some compression. Now the ratio is 7.7 .7 to one, which is quite high for a vocal. And I wouldn't necessarily recommend this, but do what suits your voice and the type of vocal that is going to fit best in your song. So yeah, I've got a bunch of mixer tracks here, lead, the backing vocals and ad libs. These hook vocals are obviously routed to the lead track where all I've got is an extra fresh air on here to make it a little bit crisper, bring it further out into the mix. Obviously that's what you want in a lead vocal. These breaths in the beginning, I actually run through the lead bus as well. As well as this pre-drop vocal, I'd sort of call it, this is like a reverse syllable in the beginning here. You hear this on a lot of tracks these days, reverse into the first few words. I wanna die. And you can hear that this is sent to a reverb track with the dry at 0% because this is a send track, wet at 100. And then I tweaked with the decay, size, stereo separation, and low cut to get the desired effect, as well as a ping pong delay. Again, wet at 100%, dry at 0%. I've turned the feedback down slightly, and I think I changed the timing to 2.0. I'm not sure what the original preset is on. These are the settings I use. And yeah, in terms of processing, that's literally it for the backing vocals in the hook. This is just sent to the backing bus, which has a reverb send itself. This is sending a little bit more signal into the send, so it's becoming obviously wetter with reverb. And one of these is sending to the left backing track, and one of these is sending to the right backing track for a wider stereo effect in the backing vocals. I think that sounds super nice. As well as in the last hook, I've got a pitch down version of these backing vocals just sent to the bus so that they're not sent to the left or the right they're still in the center so you can hear what they sound like in the last hook send me away send me away send me away the funny thing is you can actually hear the beat in my headphones but because these are tucked so far back in the mix you don't hear it at all in hindsight i probably could have done a better job at comping these vocals meaning taking the space out in between to eliminate any noise that could potentially muddy up the mix in the future but i think it sounded pretty good anyway so i didn't actually do that these backing vocals are actually just sent to the lead track but the original file themselves is turned down so that they're not as upfront as the actual lead itself in the hook, I've also got this track that's got it as volume automated so that the first half of the phrase is heard. And then when I start repeating it in this file here, you can still hear the long trail. It's not fighting over top of this phrase, if that makes sense. So I'm far away. Send me away. Send me away. Send me away. So I'm far away. This is actually one of my favorite hooks I've ever recorded. Given I haven't recorded many hooks, but this is super fire. I really like it. But yeah, that pretty much sums it up. We've got all the verse audio files. They're all sent to the lead track. But yeah, these are literally all the files I use. Very, very simple. Not many layers at all. And I think uh, as I continue to make music, I'll continue to add layers, make things more complex. But for this song, the first single I've ever released and recorded and produced myself, I'm really, really happy with how this one came out. It's super simple, but it's still really, really great in my opinion. Yeah, the finally, the last bit of source I guess I'll show you is at the end of the first eight bars in the verse. We've got this phrase. This could be my last goodbye. 
And because we're coming into a more of a repeated melodic part, I wanted to have a little bit of emphasis on that last syllable and also just fill out some space. So all I did is I chopped the last word, which is by in this case, and I repeated it as sort of a delay. And you can see the volumes brought down and this one's panned to the left, 70%. And this one's a similar volume, very slightly lower. And this one's panned to the right. So it has like a ping pong effect, which is done like kind of manually. So with those turned back on, you can now hear what it sounds like. This could be my last goodbye. So yeah, that's it. That's how I made Send Me Away. And it'll probably be a very, very similar structure as to how I make all my future songs. So yeah, if you learned something, let me know in the comment section. If you got any tips for me, also let me know. I'd love to hear what you have to say. But yeah, stream, send me away, Spotify, Apple Music, whatever you use. It's out on all DSPs right now. The link will be in the description. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more content, hit the bell notification if you don't know if I post a video. Everyone, thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Thank you.